Here it is, YouTube. This is it. We're on the home stretch, baby. It's the fourth quarter. If you're like me and you live in the Northeast or you live in the Midwest a little bit where snow's right around the corner, seasons changed, the clocks went back, you know it's getting dark at like 5.30 now. You know what time it is. You know it's over. It's curtain call, baby. If you don't got the money now, you ain't got it. You can push strong. You can finish strong this month. And you need to finish strong this month. I know you're tired. I know you got the backpacks on all eight hours blowing leaves. I know the 26 pounds on your back plus your weight. And you're blowing and blowing. Your shoulders are sore. At the end of the day, the alarm clock goes off. I know what you're going through. But you get up the next day and you keep blowing leaves. You get up the next day, you finish off that last cut. You don't, you don't let that last cut go to next year. We're going to finish strong, baby. This is it. For us in the Northeast, I try to be done by Thanksgiving. Boom. In and out. Doesn't mean it always happens. Sometimes the leaves don't come like they should. and Sometimes they go into December. But you know I like, I think only two times in 20 years I had to go into December. And, you know, this year it looks like the leaves are all going to be down. We're doing them now. We're getting them out of there. And when I say re, that means me. Because we're solo, baby. We're going after this thing, baby. We're going to finish strong. We're going to get out of the gate, finish this month strong, and it's over. It's done. Now, if you've been watching my videos since I started putting them out, you realize you got to know your numbers. This is the time to ask yourself some serious questions. This is the time before 2016 comes. You're not going to wait till 2016 comes. You need to get your little paper out and you need to figure out why you didn't make the money you needed to make this year. What did you buy? What did you invest in? Did you invest in yourself? The very first person you need to invest in is yourself. Do you have any money for yourself? Did you make it this year? Somebody said, hey, Johnny, it's my first year. I did okay. But listen, don't let your first year be like your fifth year. You understand? Don't let your fifth year be like your tenth year. You got to get going. You got to get your money in the bank. You got to realize that this is not, unless you're living down south, Texas and all them, you're generally not going to be cutting every week. You're generally not going to be doing all the bush maintenance and all that stuff. So let me tell you something, guys. It's time to get serious about your business. It's time to get serious about this. We're in the fourth quarter. You need to ask yourself some questions. I was watching the New York Jets play yesterday. My favorite football team, as you know. Uh, they got down by the fourth quarter. It, well, they weren't going to be able to come back. They couldn't come back. And you have to ask yourself in the fourth quarter some key questions. What happened in this game? We're down this much. Why? What happened? So when they go home, they got to ask themselves these questions because they have an obligation to the fans who come and see them and watch them. Why did we lose this bad? Why was the game out of reach in the fourth quarter? What did we do that caused this? So next time, this doesn't happen again. It's the same thing in business, fellas. It's the fourth quarter. you got to ask yourself, why am I not where I need to be? What decisions did I make this year? You need to go back and look. What good decisions did I make? And what bad decisions did I make? Great time to ponder all that. And you say, where am I going to get time? When you got that 26-pound backpack on your back, you're blowing out leaves. You got music or whatever is in your ear. It's a great time to reflect. Why am I in the condition that I'm in? Because if you're going to make it, and I want you to make it. I want you to make it in business. If you're going to make it, you need to ask yourself the hard questions. And not only ask yourself the hard questions, but answer those questions. Take a look at the numbers. Don't be like this person year after year. It's the fourth quarter and you're always down. And you're always looking for a way to get out. And you're always, ah, you know, Johnny, this happened and this happened. And let me tell you something about 20 years in business. Something always happens. I used to say that, well, you know, this happened that month, my my truck broke down and I had to pay this, and then my family went through this and I had to pay this big bill. I want to teach you a lesson, fellas. The lesson is this, something always happens. Say that with me, something always happens. 
You can have the best game plan in the world. I tell everyone this. You know, you can line up all your ducks in a row. But as soon as you open the gate, that duck goes that way, that duck goes that way, that duck goes that way. And everyone, the du pretty soon the ducks are everywhere. Like, hey, wait a minute. That's not how I play. I wanted you ducks to go that way. And I wanted you to do this. Let me tell you something. That's not how it works in business. You can have the best laid plans, and you should. But it doesn't always go your way. Why didn't it go your way this year? Well, this happened, Johnny. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I This happened and this happened. I can promise you guys in 20 years, I can point something out every year. This happened, this happened. You need to start preparing for this happened. That's what you need to prepare for. This happened. That's what you can call it. Put it on your report. This happened. What are you preparing for? Why are you save all that money, Johnny? For this happened. That's what you're saving for. Because this is going to happen. So you need to put it on your report. This happened. When you have a great month, when you doubled your income, and your bills are $3,000, and you did $9,000, you got to sock that away. This isn't brain surgery, guys. I'm lecturing you right now because it's the fourth quarter. And it's just like the Jets game. It's out of reach. Miami played New England. It was out of reach. Why was it out of reach? What did we do that caused it? And what can we do to not let that happen again? So this is it, fellas. I know you guys want me to do all these videos on snow plowing and, and, and all this stuff on leaf removal. I'm not a big leaf removal guy. I just don't like leaves. I don't think there's enough money to justify the $5,000 loaders. Do I have a loader? Yes, I do. I do. I bought a little bit of a cheaper one, but it's expensive for only one month worth of work. And here's what happens, guys. Here's what happens in the Northeast. They're trickling down, and then boom, they all come down. The phone starts ringing. Everyone gets excited. So technically, you got a month's worth of work. But you got one week where everyone's like, boom, boom, boom. We got to get this done. We got to get this done. They're all down. Everyone's crying. Everyone, whoa, we got to get it. And you think that when you get this loader, you're going to go out and, oh, man, you're going to get twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 worth of work in that month. But here's what happens in the Northeast. They, they trickle down. You pick them up. Oh, it's so nice. And then, boom, the phone rings. You can't get to everyone because you got to service this person. And all of a sudden... It's November 25th, you're, you're wrapping everything up, and then the phone's still ringing, and you can't get to it all. <clears throat> Make sure when you invest in something that it's worth investing. I don't like to invest in large sums of equipment that sit in a shed for so, many, for so long. I think aeration is a good investment because you can make a lot of money. You can buy a, a decent aerator you know, from the rental companies, you can go down and give them $1,500. They'll give you a decent little, uh, you can you can buy their old aerators, which are still in good shape, for like $1,500. Bucks, and you can go out and probably do $10,000 in a few weeks. But the thing with leaves are, they suck up too many trucks. If you have a dump truck, your, your dump truck's set up, sucked up. And then what happens here in the Northeast is that we get this lake effect snow. I'm only like an hour or so away from the, the lakes. And what happens is... The lakes start dropping snow, and all of a sudden, <clears throat> you need to haul you need to haul salt in that dump. Now you've got two trucks, and you're you're constantly goon to doom to doom. So I'm not a real big leaf removal. I'm not a big proponent of, of of leaf removal. Like if you want like those giant like there's a giant vac that I was just looking at with a little trailer. It's like five grand plus you got a dump. You know you get a nice you get a nice dump set up. It's about seventy. It's about seventy thousand. You got about seventy five thousand wrapped up with a dump. And sure, you can use your dump for other things. Obviously, you can do that. But I'm just not a big component of that. So that's why I don't talk about leaf removal. It's just here where I'm at. Now, remember, in all my videos, I've always said this. If you don't have a Starbucks or a mall, you generally don't have serious money. So people around here, you know, they're going to get their leaves cleaned up. You might be able to charge them $60 an hour. But what you need to make for leaf removal, think about what you're hauling around. A $70,000 dump truck. A $5,000 loader, you probably got a, a $2,000 blower, and two out of the three sit in a shed or off-site 
<coughs> until you can use them again the following year. It's going to take you too long to return your investment on that. I'm not a big proponent. I'm not saying you can't make money. You're in the right area. By all means, tear it up. You know, we have some communities around here where if you just blow them to the road, <coughs> the communities will take up. Now, we have about two communities here. Not a lot because that, that's some serious money. But it's the fourth quarter, guys. I want you to finish strong. I want you to take a look. I want you to sit down today. I want you to take a look at what you got. I want you to take, look, here's my list. I got my list. Here's my list. I got a list of stuff to do for the rest of the month. I printed out all my fall cleanups. I printed out everything I need to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and start, boom, that one's done. Boom, that one's done. Boom. I want you to finish strong. And I want you, while you're blowing all these leaves, while you're doing everything that you need to do, I want you to ask yourself these questions. But when you ask yourself a question, give yourself an honest answer. And remember, this happens. This happened to you this year. This will happen to you next year. But there's something that has to change in your psyche. There's something that has to change the way that you're doing business. If you're sitting here and you're watching this video and you're looking at me and you're saying to yourself, just didn't make it this year. Does that mean that you should throw in the towel? Absolutely not, man. It just means that you might need to change. I believe the reason why 90% of all business fail in the first five years is because they quit. Because they're not equipped. They didn't invest in themselves. They don't understand their craft. You, my friend, need to ask yourself the question. And you need to finish the rest of this year strong. You finished strong this year. We've only got about four more weeks here. It's over. It's over. So I want you to get fired up. I want you to get out there. Get up in the morning and say, I'm going to finish strong, Johnny. We might not make what we need to make, but we're going out with a bang. Let's go. Turn down for one. Let's go. You get up and you get out there and you finish it strong. Ask yourself the question and give yourself honest answers. Let's go!